The motion picture industry as we know it began in 1895 when the Lumiere brothers produced and showed a series of 10 short films. Their cinematograph allowed them to easily record motion pictures wherever they took it. This led to the early 1900s where two big names emerged in the world of film production, Georges Méliès and Edwin S. Porter. Méliès developed one of the first movie studios in Europe next to his home and was famous for the success of his 1902 film, A Trip to the Moon. Don't expect an epic soundtrack with this film, though. Most movies didn't have sound added until the late 1920s. Porter became famous for his 1903 film, The Great Train Robbery, which was one of the first films to maintain continuity throughout the entire film. The rise of the industry also led to almost 10,000 Nickelodeons, or nickel theaters, being created in America by 1908. The 19 teens saw the rise of the feature film. By 1915, about 15,000 people were working in the motion picture industry. The biggest film in this era was D.W. Griffith's The Birth of a Nation. The film was almost three hours long and highly controversial because of its portrayal and glorification of the Ku Klux Klan during Reconstruction. The 1920s brought forth television in its earliest form. John Bayard is highly regarded as one of the main contributors to TV, and his demonstration on 1926 showed that moving images could be transmitted wirelessly. The 30s introduced color to film with the debut of movies like The Wizard of Oz and Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. 30s are often considered the golden age of Hollywood. The 1940s slowed the TV and film industries due to World War II. In fact, all TV manufacturing stopped during the war. The big three broadcast networks of ABC, NBC, and CBS all saw their genesis by the end of the decade. And who could forget one of the biggest films of the 40s, the holiday classic, It's a Wonderful Life. The 50s saw the rise of color television and the proliferation of the TV set. At the beginning of the decade, about 3 million TVs were in U.S. homes. That number grew to 55 million by the end of the decade. The film industry was hurt by the rise of TV, but did see a few big hits like the Ten Commandments. The 60s brought the rise of TV journalism, and many experts believe JFK won the 1960 election because of his televised debate against Richard Nixon. The civil rights movement and space race all played out on screens across the country, while classics like The Andy Griffith Show, Dick Van Dyke Show, and Star Trek entertained us. 60s were pretty hard on film. In fact, 1962 was the slowest year of the modern Hollywood system, with only 120 movies being produced. The 70s brought about the end of the Vietnam War, the rise of the TV sitcom and game show, and was the genesis for one of television's most popular shows, M.A.S.H., which to this day has the highest rated television finale. Films saw the beginning of the blockbuster during the 70s with Jaws and Star Wars bringing new life to Hollywood. The era saw the rise of a new generation of celebrity director like George Lucas, Francis Ford Coppola, Martin Scorsese, Woody Allen, and Steven Spielberg. The 80s featured the rise of cable TV and the VCR, which both started a trend of giving viewers more choices on the media they consume. You also saw the rise of the action movie and franchise films in the film industry. The 90s saw the onset of satellite TV as a competitor to cable, and the DVD replaced the VCR. 24-hour cable news began to hit its stride, and computer-generated graphics dominated the box office with hits like Jurassic Park, Toy Story, and Titanic becoming some of the highest grossing films of the time. Since the turn of the century, everything has changed with TV and film. The lines between the two grow more blurred every day, with many TV shows now being filmed like movies. Digital cameras have increased access to filmmaking, and the rise of YouTube has given everyone a place to show their work. More than 400 hours of content are uploaded to YouTube every minute. HDTV, 4K TV, and the rise in the internet and apps and streaming services have completely changed people's media consumption habits. And in the film industry, it seems like all we're getting now are sequels of sequels and a lot of people wearing spandex trying to save the universe. <laughs>